Is a recession coming? And if so, how is that going to affect the housing market? So we're hearing that kind of like Paul Revere riding with his midnight ride is, is a recession coming? There's a recession coming. There's a recession coming. There's a good chance it's coming, but let's kind of look through the, the history of what happened and what we think is going to happen next. And if you like this information, definitely subscribe and share with your friends. So I know you've heard it before, history repeats itself, history is cyclical. You're always gonna hear that history is gonna happen again and again. So let's look at what happened in the, uh, the last few times that we've seen kind of a similar economic financial uh, pattern of what's going on right now and what happened in those. So if you go back to basically the end of the 1970s and the 1980s, or start of the 1980s with uh, Burns and Volcker's, the Fed shares, you can see that Inflation started going up. Sounds familiar, right? Mortgage rates started going up from 12 to 18%. Once again, this is very similar, maybe not as high as it, or a lot higher than it was now, but still, because inflation was going up, inflation goes up, that causes mortgage rates to go up. When inflation also goes up, the Fed has to try to control inflation. So they increase what's called the Fed funds rate, which is their overnight rate, to try to control inflation. So we talked about that before. Actually, the Fed increasing their rate to control inflation is a good thing for mortgage rates. As you see, when the Fed increases their rates, inflation starts going down. And as inflation starts going down, mortgage rates start going down. The problem that this all ended up happening at the very end is we had a recession. Okay, so let's fast forward to you know, the buildup of the 2008 recession, the big one, what we all know about. Alan Greenspan is the Fed chairman at the, at the time. And the same thing, inflation goes up from 1.75% to 3.5%. Because inflation goes up, mortgage rates go up to 7 to 8.5%. Because inflation goes up, the Fed starts raising their rate to battle inflation. As a result, inflation goes back down. And then the mortgage rate response was the mortgage rates dropped as well because of inflation. But at the very end of it, you guys remember 2008, we had another recession. Let's go to today and you're going to see the same pattern. Inflation is going up from one and a half to eight and a half percent. We've seen mortgage rates jump up from two and a half to almost 6% in some in cases. I know we got five in here, but almost 6%. And then the Fed funds, the Fed starts having to raise their rate to respond. And they're starting to get really aggressive with this. Now, what's going to happen next? If it's based off past history, we're going to see inflation rates start going down. And as inflation rates going down, mortgage rates should go down. But does that mean the recession is coming? There's a really good chance, but let's keep looking just to see, you know, if we think that or not and how it's going to affect the housing market. What we have now is, and I'm not going to bore you with too many of these uh, financial details, but what we have now is there's two kind of, or there's several kind of treasury bonds like with the government, their loans essentially. And when they have what's called an inverted yield curve, when the 10 year treasury is actually lower, the rate is actually lower than the two year, it leads to recession. Now, if you want to know why, definitely call me and I can give you the long version. But trust me on this. If you look at the graph, this is what's happened. 1980, the, or the yield curve goes inverted, recession. That's the gray line. And then right after that, the same thing happened. 1990, you see where it's in red. That's where the yield curve inverts, recession. Same thing in 2000, same thing as 2008. Same thing happened right before COVID. And guess what? We've got an inverted yield curve again. Not every time the yield curve's inverted, we have recession. But every time we've had a recession, the yield curve's been inverted. So that's something to keep in mind when we're kind of trying to predict if a recession is coming. Now, the other thing I'm being asked is, how could we possibly have a recession when unemployment rates are so low? And that's a brilliant question, because trust me, it's kind of counterintuitive when you think about it. Hey, everyone has jobs, the economy's going great. Why would we be leading into recession? Well, let's look further into this and kind of see what the past is of what happened with low unemployment rates compared to when recessions happened. Now, when you look, and I'm not gonna go through every year, but if you look starting back in the 40s, low unemployment rates right before a recession. Happened in the 50s, happened in the 60s, and so on, all the way up to the, uh, you see COVID, where unemployment rates went really, really low, the COVID recession happened, then the unemployment rates skyrocket again. Well, guess what? We're starting to see those unemployment rates starting to drop again. And when the unemployment rates have dropped, that has always happened right before recession. So yes, it's a positive thing that unemployment rates are low, but keep in mind that has happened before every recession since the 40s. Now let's assume that a recession is coming based off of what we just looked at. How is that gonna affect mortgage rates and how is that gonna affect the housing market? Let's talk about mortgage rates first. Okay, so assuming that a recession is coming, let's talk about how that's gonna affect mortgage rates and how that's gonna affect housing. We're gonna start with mortgage rates first. In every recession since the, the 80s, if you go back and look at the charts, mortgage rates have dropped. You see 1980, 16% to below 12, early 80s, still hard to believe, 18% below 13, and so on. Even through 2008, when housing led us into this recession, we still saw rates drop. And then obviously we saw rates go really low during this COVID recession. So if we do have another recession coming again, I know you've seen rates going up recently. Most likely rates will start dropping down if you look at it's what happened in the past. 
So the other component is what's going to happen to the housing market if a recession does come. So 2008, I know you're thinking, because that's the most recent one, housing tank. The market was horrible. We all remember it. Keep in mind, though, that housing was the reason that caused the 2008 recession. So it's an anomaly. Every other recession has not been caused by housing. So housing has actually done better. If you go back and look at the history again, since the 60s, housing has either been stable or gone up in every recession, including the last one in the COVID recession, 2008 being the lone exception to that. So to wrap it up, is a recession coming? No one can predict it 100%. I mean, honestly, if I could, I'd be retired on the beach right now because I've already you know, timed the market out perfectly, but it sure looks like one is coming. So the good news is if, if a recession does come, it's not necessarily bad for the mortgage and the housing market. Because if you look at the past, mortgage rates have actually gotten better during recessions and the housing market, other than 2008, has gotten better as well. So keep that in mind if you're kind of worried about the housing market or you're, you know, you're worried about rates are. What we're doing right now is everyone's saying, marry the house and date the rate. You know, I've said it before and I'm going to hear it again. What that means is find the house that you love. Yes, the rates can be higher, but you find the house you love, being pretty confident that the appreciation is going to keep going up and that rates are going to drop and you can refinance. So I hope that helps. And please, if you like this, like, comment and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks.